Welcome back to another vlog. My post has literally just arrived. I am right in the middle of shooting a tutorial on how to make a balloon garland, which should now already be up on YouTube. Fingers crossed it's all edited and up. I have just filmed that part and now I am going to head to the shed and get some dummies out to make a kick to put them on, which will hopefully be the next tutorial. But whilst I was doing that, um, there was a knock on the door. I've had a few parcels, but one came in spotty wrapping paper. Now this could be something I've ordered. I've ordered quite a few bits. This could just be their branding, um, but I'm not sure. So I'll open it up. If it is something I have ordered, then I am impressed with the outer wrapping. Okay, so this is, it's come in one of my boxes that I sent out. So I can still see the person's address on it. This is one of the cherry mails I sent out and I sent it out to Diane in Scotland. So it looks like she sent something back and I need some scissors. Oh, oh my gosh. Right, so at first I've got this hot pink envelope, which I'm going to open first. <laughs> I love, the Scottish people are so awesome. A wee note to say thank you for all the awesome tutorials in Cherry Mail. I saw these and thought of you. Hope you like it, Diane. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So it's this really high shiny red pencil case, but it's got these adorable little cherries on. Little cherry pom-poms. How cute is that? I love that. I'm actually not going to use this as a pencil case. I take things like this on holiday with me or if we're going for a weekend away and I pop like my little bobbles in there, makeup brushes, stuff like that. So that's definitely what I'm going to use this for. Got a cute gold zip. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so cute. Look at these. We've got one without a leaf and one with a leaf on it. How adorable are they? on camera these really stand out i love like the simple graphics of it how's that for a little mini memo pad oh my god i love it thank you so much diane that has definitely cheered me up today it is 12 19 so i've nearly 20 past 12 haven't had any dinner yet and i'm already feeling very guilty this week because this is the week where the kids are off school kai is still in bed and he hasn't got up yet he hasn't even been up for his breakfast yet and Abby is in the living room watching something on her phone with her headphones in and I'm working away. So I do feel guilty because I was hoping to try and get all my work done and have a week off with the kids. And I'm always aware there's a tutorial needed for tu every Tuesday and it's hard to get ahead of yourself because just as you're finishing one and you're uploading one, you're making the next one. And sometimes all it takes is for you to miss a day and you're all out of whack. <laughs> So hopefully what I'm working on today will create the next two tutorials. It still means that it's Wednesday and I've already been working and I'll only have tomorrow and Friday left with them. And Adam's booked the day off on Friday. We need the car fixing <laughs> because we haven't been able to go anywhere because of COVID. The car hasn't had long enough runs. We've only been going to the supermarket once a week. The place where he works is only five minutes away. So because the car hasn't had long runs and very cold weather, there's something, because it's a diesel, there's like a filter in it. The filters become clogged. You're supposed to go for a nice long drive to try and blast it out and it hasn't worked. So now we're gonna have to take it to a garage, put it on a computer and the computer kind of forces the filter to clean itself. I hope that makes sense. So got that booked in. But yeah, if you have a diesel car and you didn't know that, and you haven't been doing long runs either, and we've had this really cold, snowy weather, take it out for a nice long run. You know, as long as you're not, you're not going to get pulled over and fined on the motorway, because it's not an essential trip. Oh, but I love this. This is, yeah, this has definitely chewed me up today. I needed this today. It is so adorable. What did you miss from last week? I finished my mum's cake, which was this Chippendale cake. That was last week's tutorial for you, yeah. That is up now if you haven't seen it. It's got the modelling of the figures in it because I know a few of you struggle with modelling. And the best place that I can like try and tell you to start from 
is the flat parts of the face and build outwards. So for me, the things that are furthest back on my face are my eyes, so this my eyes are set in. So you start with the eyes and then you build things out. So we're like with the characters of the chipmunks, you'll see me start with the flat patches of colour on their face. And then the last things to go on are kind of like the nose because they're stuck out the most. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, go and have a look. But now I've got to play dinner lady and get everybody's dinner ready, get Kai out of his pit. He, he will happily lay in there watching telly all day if I don't ask him to come downstairs. <laughs> anyway, stop whinging. We've got bagels for dinner. Also, just while it's quiet, because um, I am finding it really hard to pick the camera up when people are watching telly and in and out of different rooms. Um, I very nearly cut my own hair. Not yesterday, the day before. I was this close to cutting it. I have never cut my hair before. I'm just getting tired like with the length of the front. I kept eyeing up the front doing this in the mirror just thinking, I just, I could maybe just chop it like this with the scissors to make these front bits a bit shorter. And then yesterday I thought I need to email my hairdresser. Because if I've got a date booked in, if I've got a date to look forward to, then I won't pick the scissors up because I'm like, no, there's only 30 days till I go, only 25 days. Um, but understandably, she has no idea when they're allowed to open again, so she can't take bookings. So I'm just going to have to be good and not touch the scissors. Let me know if any of you have actually taken scissors to your hair. Um, I would have 100% messed it up. It would have only been the front bits, but I would have 100% messed that up. taken a break from editing the balloon garland tutorial because the post has just arrived and this isn't something I've ordered because my house number is not in on it and it also says little cherry in brackets um, and I know I haven't put anything like that that in for my address I have no clue what it is it does however say on the front fragile handle with care lots of paper <laughs> there is no note with this. It is a little lantern and it's somebody, I have no idea who, has printed the Little Cherry Cake Company by Tracy on it. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea where this has come from. So it looks like it takes some batteries in the bottom and then obviously it illuminates, which is good for me because I get through a ton of candles. I am absolutely baffled. No name, no note. So if this was you, thank you very much. I'm gonna check what batteries it takes and then give it a little test. Another parcel is something I hope I did order and I got a few bits from Asda because I went through a big clear out of clothes the other day. I threw so much stuff. I had a lot of stuff with skulls on that I don't seem to pick out of my wardrobe anymore. So there was like a dress with skulls on, at least three t long t-shirts with skulls on. I still like skulls, it's just that I, I was a lot thinner when I used to be able to fit into those. So I needed some new clothes. So I just shopped around like George and Matalan and just to see what they had. And Adam needed some new t-shirts as well. So the first thing out of the bag is something that I probably won't wear and will end up sending back. But I picked it out because it is the closest thing I can find to Eleven's um, play suit without it being the actual fancy dress play suit. It's not coloured shapes, it's more like flowers. So I'm going to see what that's like. 
I bought that in two sizes knowing that I'll probably either end up sending one or both back. I picked up some socks for Adam because he's whinging and he's got holes in his. And then I spotted these t-shirts so he has no idea I've bought these t-shirts. I just spotted them and thought they were pretty cool. So on the front it's completely plain white and then has a buzz, little buzz logo on it so it looks completely plain but on the back it has the big buzz picture in green and purple. It did look a lot more pastel online but we'll see if he likes that. Then I got a black one and um, both of these are around £6 and should still be available by the time this vlog goes up. They have a few Disney and Pixar things in at the minute. Um, speaking of which is another Pixar t-shirt with all the different characters on it and then it's just playing on the back. So I'll get him to try them on and see if he likes them. Yeah, it's dinner time now, so I think we're having baked potatoes today. I'm gonna get some more editing done. I've actually started editing my YouTube tutorials down into 60 second TikTok videos or 30 second Instagram reels. I don't know how I'm gonna do, do it because some of my tutorials are like 15 minutes long and also in this format and TikTok and Instagram Reels is in portrait. But I'm going to do a couple and then possibly get Kai on the job. He can't deliver his leaflets at the moment due to lockdown. Nobody wants to book to advertise businesses that are currently closed. So it will give him a bit of extra money if I pay him for, <laughs> to do some of these TikToks. He will have a better clue what needs to be done for that. But yeah, if I can get this balloon garland tutorial shot and edited, it frees up tomorrow and the weekend where I'm hopefully just going to not do anything kick or business related and try and enjoy the time we've got left with no school and no work. Like I said, Adam's off tomorrow so hopefully we can get out for a walk or something. I have to get my jobs done first. What an absolute fail that was. I was just watching what I said in the last clip where I said I hope not to do anything kick related off the weekend. Who am I kidding? We spent the weekend making chocolate eggs. So we did eventually get to go for a walk. The weather was awful on Friday and Saturday. It pretty much rained all day, but we did get out on Sunday and we found a new route. We've never been that way before, but it found a circular walk, so that was pretty good. But did absolutely nothing. It turns out all the kids want to do is play on their games and play on their phones. Which is fine because I spent the majority of my time playing on Mario Kart when I was small or Crash Bandicoot and I absolutely loved it. That that was all I wanted to do so I've no problem with letting them play on video games. I just get zero motivation when you just think right well we'll play a board game or something like that and I just haven't got the energy. <laughs> We, we did, however, sit and watch Howard last night. This is on Disney Plus and it is the story of somebody who wrote Disney songs for obviously the best Disney songs from Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. But it was, it was just a good documentary to see the whole process and watching Lumiere sing his bits and Adam going, oh my God, he's from Law and Order. <laughs> and seeing Gaston and trying to guess who the princesses were. Um, it was a little bit slow to start because it's a lot of talking over like slideshows and your attention can slip a little bit, but stick with it. It is, it is pretty interesting to watch. But yeah, other than that, we did do cake related stuff because like I said, it was chucking it down. Not much else to do. So I got ahead of myself making negs. So the negs are my chocolate, flat easter eggs i could have just called them eggs but why be like everybody else i think their actual term they're called flegs because they're flat eggs but i didn't want to be like everybody else so i called them negs because that's what i call eggs i don't know why i have really weird names for regular items i don't know if this is just me or if there's anybody out there that also gives names to things that are just really random. So for example, most of you would call your slippers, slippers. 
that changed and morphed into bippers and then <laughs> bippers got shortened to bips <laughs> so now if I say in the house if I say I can't find my bips like you will have no idea what that is but everybody here knows I'm looking for my slippers eggs I call them negs we can be stood in the supermarket and Adam will say do you need how many neggies do you need for baking <laughs> so yeah they're just they're just called negs so I have, I think, five designs. We've got a vegan friendly one, which is dark chocolate. We've got the enchanted spring neg, because this is very Easter bunny chicks, unicorns, enchanted spring, like butterflies and stuff. We've got the dinosaur neg, which is obviously dinosaurs and neat, nice bright colors. We've got the pastel Easter neg, which is the classic Easter bunny mini eggs, one for the chocoholics for sure. And the proper eggy neg, <laughs> which is a flat egg filled with other types of egg, mini fried eggs, large fried eggs, chocolate orange smarty eggs. So it goes live tonight at 5 p.m. for pre-orders. So, I mean, this doesn't go up until Thursday, so you're a couple of days late, but there should still be some available if you want to grab one. But we are doing pre-orders instead. So if you're one of the first to order, you're one of the first to get your eggs, and I send them out, and we'll make them and send them out in batches as and when they're ready, so that hopefully they will all still arrive before Easter. I've just noticed in the screen, the end of my nose looks like a light bulb. I, for the first time, oh my gosh. That looks really bright on camera. <laughs> I look like a shiny balloon. So I decided, oh my gosh. I mean, it looks bad in the viewfinder. I don't know what it's gonna look like when I start editing. But I decided to pull some of my highlighter out of the cupboard that I've had in there for a while and not used. And just put a little bit there, two little dots there two little dots there and one on the end of my nose and rubbed it in and in the camera <laughs> I look like a little light bulb oh but yeah I've, I've got a runny nose every time I wear makeup I get a runny nose or runny eyes I don't know what's going on there yeah, I'm gearing up for the launch tonight at five o'clock so I have to go in and turn everything live Fingers crossed they sell well. We've only made a few so far just to send out to the first people who buy them. And my job list is massive today. Got to sticker them all up with their allergy stickers. I have some leaflets to work on for somebody, a website to work on for somebody else, my emails and messages to do, this vlog to finish, new discount codes for the Brigadiers, and my diary arrived. So if you follow me over on Instagram and get to watch my stories, I put a little poll out of which diary I should use from Amazon and you chose this one. So it's this blue believe in yourself one. It is 2022. I get one of these every single year. They usually come around out around about February, March every year and I get them from Amazon. They're about a tenner each. But this runs for, I think it's 16 months. So this diary actually runs from September this year 2021 to the end of December 2022. I religiously buy one of this exact brand which is Peter Pauper Press. I will leave it linked below. Um, I do not stray into any other brand because I've got used to the whole layout how it looks. It's a week to view and all the boxes are the same sizes and then I use the left side the left side of the box to write in like birthdays or family appointments and stuff and then I use the right side for any cake related like what orders I have say like on the Saturday delivery to whatever venue not that we've got any of those at the minute but you know what I mean and then the birthdays and appointments or family stuff will be on the other side so this is what I'll get round to hopefully tonight I've already sneakily used my stickers from the last vlog and popped some little bats <laughs> on Halloween so you can decorate them with little mini stickers as well but yeah I love a new diary I write in it really nice and neat and then when people start cancelling cakes and moving and moving plans and things it gets all scribbly again so yeah that's my 2022 one and the one that sits on my desk that I'm currently using was the 2021 which was this dark floral one. 
they don't they do other ones as well i think in previous years i've had llamas and breeze and the 2020 one in my drawer that had hedgehogs on it and you're probably wondering why i buy one every year if they actually last for 16 months and not 12 months that's because i used to work so far in advance like i've got orders in here right up to the end of 2022 so i'm going to need this one I just like to have them in the diary so I can see them so when other people start asking for 2022 dates I can look in my diary and see if there's any room. I've got my, I don't know if I've shown you my dinosaur t-shirt, I was, have I shown you this t-shirt before? Look at that dinosaur. A unicorn T-Rex which is a little bit like cake tutorial coming up next Tuesday for you hopefully. Good morning. I have brought you up into my very messy bedroom today because some of my other clothes have arrived. The place where I ordered from sent parcels in two separate packages. So one arrived the other day and the second half has just arrived. Now I can never pronounce this shop's name. <laughs> You'll have seen it everywhere online. Shane? Shine? Sh something like that? It's probably popped up in your ads a ton. I have ordered from these before when we went to Disney. I bought my green tartan bottoms that look like pajamas and Abby had matching like dungarees. So I have ordered from them before. The handy bit is now that they do free returns, when I ordered before they didn't do returns or they did but you had to pay for it. So that means I ordered a ton of stuff knowing that I could happily send it back probably if it didn't fit. So the first thing I'm keeping I ordered two of in different sizes. So this arrived the other day and I bought a medium which fits me. The medium I think it said was a 10. Now I'm a 12 to 14 and this fits me fine with plenty of room. I will pop an image on screen so you know what it looks like but this is the skirt I got. It is far too long for me, but look how happy and colourful it is. Multicoloured foil dots. This one I'm keeping, I love it. I bought the large, didn't even try that on because this one fits, so the large will be going back. And then the new ones that have just arrived. <laughs> Again, I was thinking of um, Eleven's outfit. Um, this is just a regular baggy t-shirt. The material actually is not t-shirt material. It's like the stretchy, shiny, almost like swimming costume stuff is the only way to describe it. It feels very cold. Not what I was expecting, but look at the pattern. <laughs> I know this is not everybody's cup of tea. I just wanted something a bit more bright, a bit more fun. All my clothes are black. This is something I've owned for a long time, a little black cardigan. However, this t-shirt, the dinosaur one I had on yesterday, is a more newer edition, something with a bit more colour on it. So, I got this in a size medium. It's supposed to be oversized and very baggy. However, this looks really, really wide and short, where I was hoping for long, baggy, comfy. So, I will try that after but i have my suspicions that that's going to be too short my next purchase also in a size m and um, the best thing to do is read the reviews people leave really good reviews um with pictures of like their measurements their size their height and you can see what the clothes look like on them <laughs> everything i've bought is like rainbow colored look at this cardigan pink yellow teal blue um i'll try this on now oh this is very very slouchy <laughs> very comfy let me see if i can spin this camera around what it looks like <laughs> it is very comfortable and slouchy and comfy but i don't have any makeup on and i'm very tired today so i feel kind of bit like a unicorn's armpit slightly colourful but not at its best. I think I think I like this. I don't know if you can see how long that is. So this is the medium. Uh, their class is a 10. I'm a 12, 14 and I can wrap this thing round a couple of times. So yeah, that's a keeper I think. 
And the last thing I bought, gosh yet, another ridiculously colourful item. Got to turn your own. And this screams 80s, 90s is this colour block hoodie. Again, holding it up, it looks really wide and short. I'm not a fan of short things. I like mine to go past my bum, be baggy and comfy. So I did size up to a large because I wanted it to be super baggy, which it will be. It's just holding them up here. The actual body part looks really short. Let's try it on. This is very baggy. But again, not quite long enough. So this is the hoodie. It's really comfy, really baggy, and baggy this way. I just like them to be a little bit, like it's just skimming the bum. Like my loungy hoodies to be like really long. So that is, that is a shame. They do have a long line version, I think, but I don't think it's color block like in these squares i think all oh, the front is one color and the arm is one color i don't know i would have to try it on with some leggings and see I suppose that's the fun bit about being able to buy online and send things back for free if they don't fit it saves me going out because there's nothing open yet but when they do it's going to be manic this stuff you can't get in stores anyway so i'll have a look, little look online treat yourself and if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't look right you can just send it back yeah, if you're looking for a colourful clothes, try them out. I just wanted something other than black for a change. I decided to try some of those clothes on and take pictures for Instagram to see what people thought. <laughs> just for content for my stories. I did it cl too close to dinner time. I have just eaten, or rather inhaled, a bowl of Frosties for my dinner. My blood sugar hasn't been all that good lately. I find myself getting more shaky more often like I used to. I, I had this space in between where I seem to be doing all right, but doing anything, just literally changing clothes. Is there anybody out there that is so unfit that they change the clothes and get tired out? <laughs> Do you know if you go, like you used to go into a changing room and you would just get warm from trying a top on, trying the pants on, trying a dress on, and just changing like into four outfits and get you all warm well for me that's like a boost button on my hunger <laughs> same as it was when i used to go out shopping if i went out shopping all i'd have to do is carry my handbag and walk around a shop and that was obviously too much i have to eat something every time i even attempt to do any sort of flat pack anything that's just a little bit of extra effort than just sitting here and it's like someone hits a boost button on my sugar my sugar levels just drop or it accelerates the hunger um, and that's what's just happened so it was say 10 to 12 10 minutes off dinner time we don't have much in because we are planning on going food shopping tonight so we don't actually have much in the cupboards but anything that we do have it all requires cooking so i could have done some pasta for dinner um, my body would not wait 20 minutes so i've had frosties <laughs> i have just inhaled the frosties whilst i'm trying to make the kids like scrambled egg and beans like crack an egg mouthful of frosties crack another egg mouthful of frosties and then when i've got that in and it starts to kick in i start i feel really sleepy all that just from trying clothes on that's ridiculous i'll just sit here for a bit and i'll be fine again just want to say thank you for everybody who placed a pre-order for a neg we have sold a ton of negs i'm going out to get some more dinosaur sweets tonight whilst we do the food shopping. I'm gonna start packaging the ones that we've got and then I'll be making your pre-orders all throughout February and March to get them in the post so that they're there before Easter. But yeah, huge thank you for all your orders. I don't know if you have noticed, but I haven't had an actual cake order for paid money for a month now. Um, so it does look like I've been making lots of cakes but they've all been family birthday cakes. I had my niece's birthday cake and then my mum's birthday cake and then a tutorial cake. And then I'll have my challenge cake for the Cherry Brigade Forum. And then it's Kai's birthday. And that's not because I don't have any orders. I could have taken them on. I was just, I was just trialing to see how it would go because I've got a lot, I'm still busy. I've still got a lot to do even without those orders. 
Um, so I just wanted to see if I could last a month with no orders, but they do kick in again in a couple of weeks. But your neg orders have certainly helped because the car is in the garage today. But I guess I should end the vlog here. I have chatted enough. Ooh, this, this isn't even exciting to you, it's exciting to me. Um, look how many pages I have left on my planner. My planners come with like 50 pages and I've been using it and using it and I've literally got like two weeks worth, two weeks left and I get to start a whole new one. So I've got my current weeks list written out there but I'm so excited to start a brand new fresh weekly planner pad. I hope you enjoyed catching up with what's happening here. I hope you enjoyed the next two tutorials. Um, you'll have seen the balloon garland one. And the next one is the colourful dinosaur cake you've seen in this video. So I guess I will see you again in another vlog in a couple of weeks.